hello friends so till now we have done uh, that numerical on our cpu organization we have covered the numerical for our one address two address three address and zero address instructions that for three cpu organizations one more kind of uh, instructions are there that is risk instruction using this risk instruction set how we are going to evaluate this expression that we will see next so before starting to evaluate uh, what is risk risk is what r i s c r i s c stands for what reduce instruction set computer here in case of reduce instruction set computer two basic characteristics are followed one is whenever we do any um, data manipulation instructions like your add jor and all that time we need to use three address instructions we need to use three address instruction and all the three operands that three address instruction will have three operands all the three operands will be there in general purpose registers right so my data manipulation instruction has to use three address instruction and all three has to be there in registers now the point is let's say this example whenever we will do this example then for doing this example the values are there in memory location p q r s and all the values are there in memory location the values from memory location has to be loaded into this general purpose registers then only we can perform our various operations so another basic characteristics of risk architecture is that that for doing communication with memory we are going to use load and store instruction load instruction is to get something from memory to a general purpose register load means what load from memory to a register to the processor inside processor who will hold it one register will hold it and in our risk architecture general purpose register can hold the value that is coming from memory so the instruction format will be load is the mnemonic then this is my destination this is my source m is representing any memory location here we can write any memory location name loc log num a b c like anything so a memory location value whatever name is written from that particular memory location value will be loaded into ri what is ri any general purpose register r1 r2 like that right another one is after doing the operation we need to transfer the value into memory location x for that we are going to use store instruction where you are sending the value to memory location so destination role will be a memory location and from where you will send from one general purpose register so to transfer data from general purpose register to a memory location we are going to use store instruction mnemonic is store and this is my destination and this is my source so this is how we are going to communicate with memory so once again please remember whenever we are writing risk instructions that means for doing our operations we'll be using three address instructions all three instru sorry all three operands will be in your registers general purpose registers and to communicate with memory we are using another two instruction load and store and these load and store can communicate with memory and a general purpose register so this thing we need to remember so now kind of ready to evaluate this expression right so let's start so our instruction is this so first what we have to do p plus q where is p in the memory q is also memory now we need to get them in your general purpose register so what instruction we can use to get something from memory that is load from where you will load from memory location p another is from q into some general purpose registers so see the first instruction is load r1 comma p that means content of this location is moved to register r1 done second one will be load r2 comma q that second operand we need to get in r2 and then now we are ready to perform the operation because both the operands are there in registers so now what i'll do add r1 r1 r2 i can use any register both in source come destination row this is here as a operand and here it is 
operand means source and here this operand is in the role of destination so we will be adding the contents of r1 and r2 and result will be there in r1 this is absolutely fine because we are not changing the value of p p is intact in your memory location r1 content we are adding with r2 and result is stored in r1 this part is clear now next what i need to do multiplication with r but before multiplying with r i need to get r into a general purpose register so what i'll do load r2 comma r now the point is why r2 why not r3 r4 the point is we have limited number of general purpose registers if a register already we have used and that value we are not we are not going to use any more than the same register we are going to use for our subsequent operation but here we can't use r1 why because r1 is already already holding p plus q so we can use this r2 because r2 was holding q and r2 is not required anymore right so r2 value into r2 we have loaded r this is fine right if you have unlimited number of registers and there is no restriction then you can use r1 r2 r3 r4 but it is always wise to use the registers efficiently due to that i am solving it like this so load r2 comma r this is fine now also we are ready to perform the multiplication because one part is in register r is is also one part is in register and this is also in register so let's do so multiplication mul r1 comma r2 result will be there in r1 this part is fine now ready to do the division so where all i need to get as into a register which register i can pick i can pick r2 so load r2 comma s this is fine same logic then next we will do division so what i will do divide r1 comma r2 result will be in r1 right r1 comma r2 result is in r1 here you can write r2 also no harm in that right then next so we have done this part that one part of our addition sorry one part of our addition is done up to here we have completed now this part we need to do so we need to bring t and u into your registers can i use r1 no because r1 is holding one part of my result so i can use r2 r3 and so on so i'll bring t into register for that okay this load as we have done and this is the division part division part is r1 by r2 we have done result is in r1 next is t and u will bring into register so instruction is of code is load so load r2 comma t this is done then load r3 comma u this is also done now both the contents are in register so now we are ready to perform our subtraction operation so sub r2 r2 r3 means r2 minus r3 we are performing and result is stored in r2 this part is done now we need to do the division before starting division what i have to do v need to be loaded in register which register i can take i can take r3 because r3 has no next use so load r3 comma v that v value is loaded into register r3 this is done then now next instruction will be d d r2 r2 r3 means r2 is divided by r3 result is stored in r2 so this part is there in r2 this part is there in r1 what else i need to do i need to do simply add so add r1 comma r2 this addition is done result is in r1 at the end where your result need to be sent into memory location x so what is the instruction to transfer content from cpu to memory it is your store instruction so store x comma r1 because this is my destination your source is registered r1 so from r1 value is transfer to memory location x so this is how we can solve one expression using risk instruction what we need to remember is that risk instruction will perform all the operations using three operands and all three in registers same register can be used in the role of source and destination no harm in that and second point we need to get the operands into registers for that we'll be using load instruction at the end or in between if any time we require to store the results 
into memory that time we are going to use store instruction from the register to a memory location so this is how we can do this so this is there up to this i'll discuss in this video and if you are liking this video then please like my video and share my channel thank you